Did you know that your solar power system is losing energy just from wires and switches? That lost power turns into heat. This small system is wasting 37 watts of power when it's running a 1000 watt load. Let's see how much power your system could be wasting. Every wire, fuse and switch in your circuit has a tiny bit of resistance. It may seem small, but with high current flow, this resistance causes real power loss. I'm measuring the resistance using this device. It measures the resistance of the components. You cannot use your multimeter because it cannot measure the small resistance. But I will show you a trick how you can do so later in the video. For example, let's measure this piece of wire. It has a resistance of 0.75 milliohms or 0 0.0005 ohms. And let's now measure a fuse. The resistance of the fuse measures 0.53 milliohms or 0 0.00053 ohms. If we want to calculate the power loss over this fuse, if we draw 100 amps of current, we must apply the following formula. Current squared times the resistance in ohms. This becomes 100 amps times 100 amps times 0 0.00055 ohm equals 5.5 watts of heat loss. If we add up all the power losses in the circuit, we become the total power loss in the circuit. To measure the internal resistance with a multimeter, you need to measure the voltage drop over your circuit, under load. I will soon show you that this load draws 72 amps on the DC side. And then I'll measure the voltage difference between the positive terminal and the positive of the inverter. Then I'll repeat the same, measuring from the negative terminal of the battery to the negative terminal of the inverter. Let's do that now. And we have a voltage difference of 0.4 volts. And for the negative, we have 0.11 or 0.12 volts. And if we divide 0.4 volts with 72 amps, we get 0 0.0055 ohms or 5.5 milliohms. And this is a total resistance in the positive circuit. And when you measure the negative, we got a voltage difference of 0.12 volts. And if we divide it by the same 72 amps, we get 0 0.0016 ohms or 1.6 milliohms. And if we combine these two together, we get a total of 7.1 milliohms or 0 0.0071 ohms. And since the current in the circuit is 72 amps, we apply the same formula as before. Current squared times the resistance, which equals 72 amps times 72 amps times 0 0.0071 equals 37 watts of power loss. So not only is your inverter consuming power, but the circuit is consuming power as well. Thanks for watching. If this video was helpful, please give the like. And if you're a beginner, check out this playlist. And I will see you in the next one.